Welcome back, gamers. Um, okay, so we're gonna try crash landing again. Um, I'm gonna kind of go over what I did last time. Um, and essentially, I have to restart the world because I got hit through by a zombie through the wall because I forgot about how finicky old Minecraft was. As you can see, we're playing 1.6.4 here. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I upload these to YouTube and I edit them after the fact. Um, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to get back to the point where I was at and then we're going to kind of start from there. Um, and what I mean by that is when I actually edit this and throw it up on YouTube, um, I'm going to start my editing process from when I get caught up. Uh, for now, I am just going to stream the process of getting caught up. So this might actually end up being a longer one, just depending on how many on how long this takes. Um, I think I made it about two days <laughs> into the previous playthrough before this. <laughs> are now actually already to basically where we were before like we actually have additional quests that we didn't have before so let's see here this we never completed but we know what we need we need 10 buckets of or 10 uh millibuckets of water to make that happen which we do by putting 10 saplings in the fluid transposer drinking mud this one's new water is scarce in a pinch you can get water from dirt one bottle and one dirt. Wait, one bottle and one dirt. There you go. It isn't very healthy, but you don't have a choice. So, I guess the question I have to ask is, well, I have glass bottles. If I do this, is that how it works? It is. Okay, but I don't want to waste my dirt. Not yet. I'm going to eat the zombie jerky first um, as my health kind of goes down here. Tools of the trade. I suggest making a matic out of uh, shovel and axe head. So that's tinkers. Um, interesting. So we can make them out of bones or stone. And I do have the, um, I do know how to make stones from the dust. The zombie jerky on its own probably isn't good enough. If you are in dire enough straits, almost anything looks edible. Eating worms. Don't forget that you can craft a fi frying pan out of bones. Don't ask me how that works. The silkworms come from hitting leaves with a crook. Right-click the ground with your frying pan and drop worms uh, and fuel of some sort. So I guess we're going to need to kill skeletons. But I really don't want to go outside. Cooking utensils. Right, this is simple. If you don't want to be stuck eating bits of monsters and wriggling things off trees... Be creative when I'm trying to... So we need to make all of these things. Because we're going to do the sapling quest. Um, drinking mud would be good because that's going to give us another piece of dirt. I wonder if we have to sacrifice the piece of dirt that we already have. I almost wonder if I should sacrifice the one dirt I have. Because I don't see any other way of getting extra dirt um, at the moment. Like, none of these seem to reward me with anything like that. So I must have to sacrifice the original dirt. And it basically just recycles it back in. Select that. 
This is kind of a risk doing this in case I'm wrong, which I probably am. But just for the sake of, um, I've got my dirty water bottle, right? Okay, I do. Manual submit, claim reward. And that gave us another piece of dirt back. I would like them to start burning. Got a lot of extra. Okay, great. Um, I want to find any bones on the ground as well. So we need to plant our tree. Um, I think I'm going to plant the birch tree. I'm going to wait until I hear them stop. Oh, that's a spider. Okay, that's a small spider. Can it go through here? And also, it's day. Why is it why is it attacking me? Whoa! 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 What the hell? There was like 10 of them. It was the it was the middle of day. Well, shit. All right. Well, I guess we're going to do this again. <laughs> Okay, now we can put one tree outside and close up. I think, I mean, that was the quickest I could have possibly done that. We've only got 23 dust, though, which I really don't like. 40, 41. Those monsters are going to be here any second. Oh, what is that? Is that a darker mound? Is the world different every time? I can't tell. It might be, because I don't recognize that mound. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, they're spawning. Okay. But this is good, though, because we've got a bunch of dust we can sift through. Um, let me grab the gun. Okay. All right. I feel like we're in a well-fed. Well, that's phenomenal. <laughs> um, that's kind of surprising to me, but... Oh, I think I had a thought earlier that I was saying and I didn't finish. Um... Oh, can we do the QDS? No, we cannot do the QDS because we need saplings to do that. And that's what we're waiting on outside. Um, but let me go ahead and configure this the correct way. Right. So what can we do while we're inside tonight? Tools of the trade. So just making a mattock out of the shovel and axe heads. Um, okay, so we get these as rewards. Full guard pattern. Don't forget you can make hammers out of metal if you have excess ingots. I feel like I need a furnace and stuff to make that happen. We'll need some basic tools and protection. So tools. I said just making a mattock. So I guess maybe the only thing I'm going to be able to make would be... Maybe the bone mattock? I'm not sure because... it's act It looks like it wants us to... Use bone stuff. Okay, so bone crook. Th oh, this is what we need. So we need a stone hammer. We need a bone. Okay. All right. Um. I think we can make that happen. We'll just have to wait for it to turn day. But the stone axe or that that uh, hammer we might be able to make happen because we actually we sift through dust to get. Um. That stone hammer. There it is. Yeah, so we sift through dust to get the small stones and we take four of those together in a square and we can make cobblestone. So that's actually easy enough. I've already got five of them. And I'm sure we can get the last three we need. And I wonder if we can make a furnace pretty easily. That's gonna take a good bit of those small stones to make happen, but is this Sardis Quartz? Oh, it is. Yeah, okay, so we've already got uh, three. We need one more. Um, oh, crap, it turned day. Or it is turning day. Uh, let me put all this dust away. 
So if I put this dust away, I'll have more space. I, do, I know I need uh, bones, and I hear a skeleton burning outside. So I want to find his remains as soon as I possibly can. Because uh, I don't want them to despawn, and I know I need to make a bunch of tools out of it. That tree is also probably grown by now. Okay. Not again. We're not doing this again. Whoa, it's not loaded. It's not loaded. I fully thought it was loaded. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you can't shift click it into the gun. I think in this mod pack, there's a mod that makes spiders hostile all the time. Um. Oh my god. And I, for you have to double tap W. This is before they had, um. Crap. This is before they had, um, uh, this is before you could click control to make yourself sprint. Okay. Did I get any bone meal? I did when I was sifting through that. That skeleton, I think, died on top. Yes. Okay. So we've got two bones now, which is great. Um, because now we can make some of those bone tools, I think. I've got two birch saplings, so let's go ahead and turn that into water. Oh, that's right. I need to power that using these little capacitors that they have. Why does it say I'm starving? How did I... What on earth? How am I that close to dying right now? I had, I had no idea that I was... Uh, you know what? I bet I healed a little bit. I forgot to hit by the spider, and that's what happened. Okay, uh, do I have those capacitors on me? I've got one of them. Let's throw that there. It should start charging up. Okay, that's making water. 0% completed. So that's, that should be a tenth of it. 10% completed. Okay, we didn't, uh, make it last time. So, I should probably try and make that crook. But I've only got two bones. I almost feel like I want like a pit to lure skeletons and stuff into like right outside. Um, and if I do that, it might make it easier to get bones. Because I really don't want to have to waste my ammo here uh, from the needle gun. There's another sapling. We'll plant that one. Yeah, I kind of almost want to like make them like a little moat here. Just so when things approach, they get trapped. But with that, I've also got a little bit of a problem. Because depending on what gets trapped, that might be a bad idea. Um, like for instance, if um, a creeper gets trapped, I walk outside and then all of a sudden I blow up. You know, that wouldn't be great. If I make the pit really deep, um, or deep enough to the point where he won't blow up when I leave the shuttle, it might be, that might be actually a good idea. Okay, let's check the quest book, because I feel like I skipped out on a few things. Even more desperate times, we need silkworms, but we need that crook first, which we can't do until we get more bones, right? So, crook, yeah. The bone crook, oh, you know what? We could make a wooden crook too, which I don't know if it'll last very long, but if we do that, let me grab that um, crafting station. If we do that, we might be able to get some of these silkworms and, you know, munch on them. <laughs> I mean, it seems like the days are really quick in the pack. Oh, actually, this will help us speed up our sapling production as well. Okay, so the crooks don't are not uh, affected by durability, which is awesome news for us. You know what I bet's happening? I remember there was a mod from a long time ago that makes normal tools useless, and you have to use tinker tools. And that's probably what's happening here. So if I make a normal... Like, Tinker's wooden axe, that might last a lot longer than the... Oh, did my water run out? It did. Um, you can't use cold water bottles 
in the camel pack, which is annoying. I'm not sure why that is. Is that going down? It is, but it's like almost noon. The days must be sped up. There's no way. There's no way that they're not. I don't see how that's even possible. Okay, we've got four saplings. Oh crap, we're at a bone meal. Um, six saplings. Let me put these in here. And while that works, I'm gonna try and get a ton of bone meal real quickly by just spamming this. I need to get as much done in the day as possible before anything happens. I would also like to dig out that pit some, but I don't know if I have time for that. If we get that mattock, um, we definitely could. I did notice we also got a silkworm, which is good. I almost want to grow like trees inside. It would be cool if I could make like a room in here, but or maybe we should expand onto it instead of making a pit. Because if we throw up a wall with torches and stuff, we should be able to stop them from spawning. So we should be able to start making some of the tinker stations. Um, which would be preferable. Because, you know, clearly the regular axes and everything don't do very much for us. I wonder if they have vein miner in this. I haven't actually tried that. If I hit... No, it doesn't appear that they do. Or maybe there's a keybind for it. Is it grave? Nope. I'll look through the mod options and see if they do have vein miner in it, but I kind of doubt they will. I also got to remember, I got to be very sparing about my saplings here. I think the crook has a higher percent chance to drop saplings from leaves as well. Okay, well, it's not going to matter. Okay, so we've got three additional saplings. It's turning night right now. Let me see if I can get this pit dug out just one more block lower. I think this is this might be a good little strat. I'm going to wait for them to spawn to see if anything spawns close here. We are starting to run out of food a little bit, but with this, uh, with the silkworms, we should probably plant one of the silkworms into one of the trees here soon. I almost don't know if I want to use this just yet, um, because it did say it wanted me to cook it for food. But yeah, they seem, the spider's AI is definitely changed and different, because I'm noticing every single spider seems to be hyper-focused on me. There must be a mod in here that changes how um, everything's affected for sure. Now these guys, oh, you know what? They do still have a path to me, so the moat's not going to work. Um, not until I block off um, some of the other stuff. Unfortunately, food is going to start to be an issue very soon here. I do know you can get raw fish from uh, sieving dust. But, oh wait, okay, so can we do anything here just yet? Oh, that'll give us a rice seed if we cook the worm, though. So wait, frying pan. You can craft a frying pan out of bones. Maybe we should save the bones for the frying pan. Iron frying pan? Bone frying pan. Oh, that's Tinker's, though. Interesting. Interesting. Let me search at Tinker's Construct. Tinker's. So I think we need to make some of these stations here. So the stencil table, blank pattern. I think we can start making some of this stuff. Let me make the stencil table first. Oh, that was the blank pattern instead. Okay, so we've got our stencil table. So now we can make stencils. Here's zombie burning in the thing over there. Uh, tool station. That's just a crafting table and a blank pattern. So the blank patterns... I, I've messed with Tinkers a little bit in other mod packs, but typically it's my friends who make the good Tinkers tools. So this will actually give me a good opportunity to kind of learn it a little bit better. Let's go ahead and make our crafting table. And here's our tool station. I think we should go ahead and make a pattern chest too. I forget all of them and how they work. Pattern chest is a chest and a blank pattern. Okay. Uh, let me grab some more sticks. Make a 
another pattern. We're going through this wood like crazy. And then let me make a chest. Oh, you know what? Is this finished? 80% complete. So if we put two more saplings in here and we still have one extra, we should complete that quest. Quest delivery system, 100% completed. Let's go back. Okay. And we get two regular water bottles, which is great because we throw that in the camel pack. I'm actually going to take it off for now because at night it doesn't heat up. And we've got 97% water, so we're doing more than fine there. I probably should sift through more of this and try and get um, a furnace. There might be a half slab furnace that we can make and save ourselves some resources, but I actually don't know. I'm going to search slab furnace. That is a thing. Okay. So we can save ourselves some resources here. If we only make a few cobblestone, we can definitely save ourselves. Some oh, wait, we have three now. So that's six. So we only need three more. And then we can make a slab furnace. Which I think will be good enough to start cooking some stuff. I think we're going to have to use wood for fuel for now up until we can get a better source. Because I don't know what the coal situation is like on this planet or whatnot. It does want me... It wants me to make that matic. So what do we need? We need an axe head. So we've got our QDS task. That's done. What did that open up? Did that open up anything? No. But I guess it was important. Oh, wait, we have our stone hammer, right? Did I? Oh, I wasted the cobblestone that I got earlier on the, the, the um, I could have sworn I made the stone hammer, but I guess I didn't. I didn't put it away, did I? In either one of these? Don't see it. I mean, I guess I can just go get some more stone here, but we need one more cobblestone to make the furnace. I should pr I mean, I need to prioritize both of those, and it, it's not too hard to get the stone, so I think I'm just going to keep sifting for a while. There was something else I could do with the saplings, I think. Oh, I can make water from saplings! So wait, if I take the QDS, and I put it away, I'm just now realizing what I can do with that. I can actually just put water from the saplings into the bottles themselves. All these empty bottles I have. I've been able to do that this whole time. I'm not really sure how though. I might need to output it to a bucket first. Unless these glass bottles, can I just get the water from that? They probably have a mod in place to prevent that. It sounds like it's day. I do hear a skeleton, which is good. So we're going to go get those bones as soon as we possibly can. Okay. Can I just do this? What did that just do? Did that just give me water? I can't really tell. It is. I've been able to do... Oh, salt water bottles. Dehydration. Okay, let me put that back on. Um, Salt water, salt water. Oh, but those ruin the bottles, it said. So we need to find a way to, to purify that, which I think I saw a quest for. Arrows. Is there any rotten flesh in the area? Because we're starting to be a little bit uh, concerning on food here. We do have four bones, though, which is good because we should be able to make that uh, some of those patterns from earlier. So we need a we do need a bone crook. That is part of it. Crap, that means we need even more bones than we have right now. So let me open up the quest book and at least detect that. Okay. The stone hammer is probably still the best thing we can be doing right now. So we can make one more cobblestone. It just takes forever to get this stuff. I might split this episode, or this into two different episodes on YouTube, just based on how it's going right now. Um... Uh, so I think I might 
I'm going to keep going from here, but I think I'm going to call it here for the first episode. And the second one, I'll stop at like an, an hour 30.